I finally signed to a professional football academy. I tried every training method possible the last two years, and I found the one that worked so well, it got me to a professional academy. Like, ah! This training formula worked so well, it got this guy to the highest youth level. Bro, don't expose the training formula, man. Okay, just admit it though, like, it's the reason why you're I don't right want now. everybody suddenly becoming ballers. All right, I don't know what this guy's talking about, but yo, real quick, um, can you go get the balls from the car, the ball bag? We just Bro, to film a, one more video. It's a 10 minute walk. I'm not, I'm not trying to do all that. Okay, but actually, man, it's one more video. Like, it's going to take like five minutes. Just go get it real quick. Then okay. we're done. Okay, okay. Um, roll the cameras. Whole ball bag. Okay, cool. While this guy's video. going and getting the balls, you have 10 minutes to explain the concept and give you guys a training formula. Let's go. This is a two-step formula I used to jump three levels in a single year that then eventually got me a trial at a professional academy and ended up signing because of my performance when I was on trial. I only have a couple of minutes to explain this concept, so let's quickly get into it. Listen carefully, all right? This guy Harris, bro, got me cheese, making me walk 10 minutes to get some balls, bro. I'm gonna take my sweetest time getting these balls. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go take a piss, bro, because he doesn't deserve my time. The first part of the two-part formula is mastering the basics. Right here, I have a very basic fundamental dribbling drill lined up. I'm gonna be targeting the dribbling aspect here, but you'd apply these same principles in every other aspect of the game. The whole idea with this concept is you're starting with a very basic fundamental drill, like this dribbling drill. We're just emphasizing technique at a very basic fundamental level. So right here, I'm just dribbling with the outside of the foot, the laces into space. That is the right technique when you're dribbling at a defender, when you're dribbling into space. Right here, we're just emphasizing on technique, right? Especially if you don't have the right technique down, this is essential. Right again, we will do the same thing with the left foot, just dribbling into space using the outside of the foot laces. The right technique in every aspect is gonna make the game effortless, and this is why it's so important to prioritize it and make sure you get it down. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> Then, as you get better, you gradually make the drills harder to challenge technique, so it becomes muscle memory. This principle is called progressive overload through difficulty. In the first drill, just up and down, dribbling with laces, the right technique. This is the second progression, which again, you're emphasizing the right technique with your laces, but there's a change of direction element added, incorporated into it. That was disgusting. I'm gonna go get the balls now though, because I feel bad. This is gradually getting harder and harder. Again, this is the challenge technique, so the right technique becomes a part of our play style. As an example, laces, change of direction. Laces, the right technique, change of direction. Laces, the right technique, change of direction. As the drills get more complicated, more elements of game realism get incorporated into it. Got so tired, bro. Make me walk 10 minutes for some balls. It's not happening. Cheeky sit down. I'm a brain raw, I'm gonna watch TikTok for a bit. This is the next progression, much more complicated because it's smaller and is much more complex, changes the direction. As you get better, you're making it more complex, but just always emphasizing the right technique. As you can see, dribbling into space with laces and then changes the direction. Smaller, tighter spaces, just like in a game, but the right technique is present in almost every single movement throughout the drill. Go slow and do the right technique. Don't get lazy and try to rush through the drill. You don't want to go backwards reinforcing bad habits because then that ends up becoming a part of your play style. This is called tier training, gradually making the drills harder to challenge techniques so it becomes muscle memory over a certain amount of time. So for the first month, I'll do the very basic fundamentals. Second month, make it harder. Third month, make it even harder than that and gradually keep making it harder for five months. This guy got me walking through the jungle, bro. I'm gonna get the balls gonna be a calm sesh. After the five months, after I built a good basic foundation, I'm gonna progress to part two, which is emphasizing speed of play. How much time I got left? Four minutes. All right, quickly, hurry up, let's go. All right, you're not gonna be needing this anymore. Now it's time for the real training. Holy, I'm taking too long, I gotta hurry up. Part two is unrestricted training. After doing hours of research, I found out the next progression up is being instinct driven. There's a study done that showed that instincts work faster, way faster than the thinking state of mind. Also a study done on Neymar which showed that he's on autopilot, meaning he doesn't think when he plays, he just does. Instincts. Even prime Chelsea Hazard, in an interview with Terry Henry, he said that he just plays off of instincts. Just watch the video. So what you're telling me is what you do most of the time is instinct. Yeah, it's instinct. Yeah, no, me, I don't think too much. Instinct. Yeah, it's instinct. Yeah, instinct. The greatest football of all time even quoted saying, I do not think about to play or visualize anything. I do what comes to me at the moment. Instincts. It has always been that way. Even Mora said it. Just watch this video. Since I'm young, yeah, it's like instinct. I know how to control the ball since I'm young. That's why I have the best touch in the world. <laughs> Where are the balls, bro? I swear, this guy always has some random hiding spot for the ball. Where are the balls, bro? Three minutes left, bro. Hurry up. All right, man. Just chill, bro. I'm thinking. 
The same pattern shows up everywhere through all of these footballers. But what does this mean? Just like the study summed up that instincts work faster, way faster than the thinking state of mind. Realizing this and seeing it how they play, when they play, they do not think, they just do, which is derived from being instinctually driven. That means this drastically increases their speed of play, their decision making, and this is what makes them so quick and so good, being able to perform at the top of the game. This is the training I did after getting to the highest level below the pro academy that then got me to the professional academy level. Because of the highest level below the pro academy, everyone is technically excellent. What's gonna get you to stand out, that's gonna get you to the professional academy level is speed of play. That's the one thing I saw at the professional academy level that was much different than playing youth football at the lower levels. There's only two minutes left for a hurry up. All right, man, relax. The first way to work on being instinct driven is through unrestricted training. Just learn to let yourself flow as if in the game doing whatever comes naturally. All right, defender right here, double step over, cut back, defender again, single step over, just don't force anything. Let your instinctual intuitions take over and learn to let yourself just trust and rely on your natural instincts. This is the state of mind we want to operate in, so we have to train it. You want to train this individually, but remember, everything I'm teaching you, you want to apply it against real people. Playing against other individuals in pickup, partner training, whatever it may be, because we want this state of mind to transfer over to the real game. So you have to be able to do this against real players so it transfers over to the real game when it matters. Otherwise, all the training doesn't matter because you're comfortable individually training, there's no pressure, and you're never going to be able to perform when it matters. Found the balls. Bro, there's only a minute left. He's gonna be back any second. Yo, just film this, man. I keep telling you, bro, relax. He's not gonna get here in time. You can apply the unrestricted concept in every aspect of the game. Right now, I'm gonna do unrestricted shooting, just visualize the defender right in front of me. Obviously, letting it flow. We don't wanna reinforce any thinking when it comes to this specific training. Right now, the defender right here, just letting it flow. Bah, where are you going? And then just finish. Obviously, you're not gonna finish like that. That's only me, because I'm him. I'm walking back now, I got the balls. I'm praying this guy Harris did not leak the formula because we can't have everybody becoming ballers. Bro, I see this guy, man. I see this guy. Oh my days. I had the pitch. Yo, 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 yo. Cut the video, cut the video. What's up? You brother got the balls? Yeah, bro. I fire. Yo, so where are you guys filming? Oh, just telling them the story about how I signed to Pro Academy. You exposed the formula, did you, bro? Of course not. But real quick, let me just finish this video and we'll go film that video. All right, calm. All right, boys, if you guys want to learn in more depth about how to sign to a pro academy, exactly how I did it, click the first link in the description. It's going to explain everything. Yo, click the first link in the description. Love. Thanks.